Snapchat. get everybody in one place. Isn't it fun? It's so and great. And almost it's everybody's so looking the right direction. Too. I know. There's always got to be something. <laughs>、so、your、right. office here is a little bit googly. What's it supposed to be like? Was a googly. In、uh, fact, primary colors. <laughs> Now tell us about the spaceship. There's a little bit of a spaceship、uh, in the in the front part、It's、of、like、the office. It's like a high-backed couch. Our interns, in particular, like to sit in there and hold conferences. I'm not really sure what they talk about, but they do enjoy that. They、space. talk about you. <laughs> I think they talk about our candidates. <laughs> Now, in 2014, you say there's a big map for women. What do you mean by that? Well, Emily's list is engaged in six Senate races, six gubernatorial races, more than a couple dozen House races, and that continues to grow every day. Stephanie, I understand you have a little news to make about the money you've raised. Yeah, you know, we are very excited about the growth of Emily's list. Not only have we increased our fundraising this cycle, we are five million dollars over where we were at this point last cycle. And more importantly, we've added thirty thousand new donors to our organization. And while Matt was setting up, you were saying that you're especially interested in governors' races this year. We sure are. We sure are.、Uh, the one thing that happened in 2012 is we ended the cycle with only one Democratic woman governor. But wait, why was that? Why did you wind up with only one? Twelve didn't just just didn't have as many races. But we're back at 14. Those Tea Party Republican governors who came in are up for re-election, and this is our opportunity. How do you get someone as excited about a House race as they were about re-electing President Obama? Well, the Republicans are helpful because they continue their their war on women, and without without Making any policy changes. You are Madam President. You also have a project that's called Madam President. Tell us about that. Well, we believe here at Emily's List that it is、uh, it is time for us to break that big gigantic glass ceiling down at the White House. Obviously, your next question is probably going to be about Secretary Hillary Clinton, and the truth is, we think she makes a great candidate for President of the United States if she chooses so. And what are the hurdles that a candidate Clinton would face? I think the biggest hurdle is that we are up against a Republican Party that has been out of power for eight years, and they will do anything and everything to stop a Democrat. Well, and voters、winning. are fickle, right? This is a fifty-fifty country. It's hard when you're、it's、running、close. for the third time. Well, and this will be a different person running, and that's that's the conversation we're going to be having. And people have talked over the years about you running back home in Montana. Now that you've seen it all up close, is running look more attractive or less attractive? <laughs> I love Montana, and I love the people of Montana. It's where my where my heart is, where my soul is, and I hope someday to go back and serve in whatever capacity I can. Anything imminent? Anything you want to announce? <laughs>、yeah. Now, in your off hours, you've become a bit of a foodie.、Uh, tell us about DC dining. Where do you like to go? What do you think? Okay, I have a very, I have a soft spot for Mediterranean food. Capnos, I just went to 14th Street. Amazing, so good. And what's your guilty pleasure for food? I'm a little bit of a Ben and Jerry's fan. Cherry Garcia. <laughs> good, but not like the Coffee Heath Bar Crunch.